It's been a little while. Can't lie. Been a little while. As we're starting 2019. And Twitch once again. Not showing the banner of the game in which I'm playing. Don't know why that is, but it just happens that way. It bees that way sometime. Uh-huh, yeah. So, let's just fire that up. But welcome back in, everybody. This is the live stream Let's Play of MLB The Show 16 as we continue to follow this road to the show career of one Casey Braxton. And I tell you what, um, what, 16, 17, 18, so we finished three seasons. This is the fourth season already. And we get opening day against Cincinnati. I think last year was opening day against the Dodgers, and I lost to Kershaw one to nothing. Haven't really played this in a while. I've been playing kind of off-camera with uh, my franchise, Baltimore Orioles now. I tend to jump around like that. I don't know why. But uh, that's where I'm currently at with that, so I may be horrible today. But without any further ado, opening day. Do we have, like, cool unis that I can... Ah, oh, whatever. Let's keep it standard. Let's keep it standard. We'll see if we can get rocking and rolling here. That'd be great. That'd be great. Do 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 do. But da 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 da. Hmm. Hmm. Last year won the NL MVP, not even the Cy Young. We went straight through and won the friggin' MVP. It was a great year. I don't, did we? I think we got into the, into the divisional round. Was all. I don't even think we got into the league championship series. Sadly, I would love to win the World Series with the Cubs and then just compile this awesome career. Um, I probably went through that whole lineup as far as what the uh, the best pitcher-friendly ballparks are in baseball. But if not, I'll do that again. I know I I staggered my way through that. Do, do, just an interesting text came in. And here we are, opening day. I love the presentation they do in this game, though. The trumpeting tunes and all that stuff really helps the sort of ambiance. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, by the way, as I sit here, we are still in our quarantine lockdown here in the year of 2020. So that's still kind of a thing that's happening right now. Look at that. Look at that. In all of baseball, pitching numbers were top three in everything. In everything. The team ERA was 3.17. And it, it's easy to deduce. The really good teams over time have great pitching. I know you got to hit the ball. And speaking of Cincinnati, I always go back to who was it? Adam Dunn. Uh, uh, got Austin. Austin Burke, or is that the clothing store down here? Jeez, uh, I can't remember. Like, Go back to like the 2003-2004 Reds, somewhere around there. Casey, Dunn, and Kearns. Austin Kearns, that was it. Great bats, they were all like like 30, 35, 40 home run hit hitters type of thing. Remember like the, uh, who was that, the, the Rockies had the, what, the Bay City Bomber, and the now, Bay Street, whatever it is, the Bombers, Chicago Dante Cubs. the Shed, Vinny Castillo, they had, they had mashers back like in 94, 95, and no pitching because it's Colorado. So it's like that is one of those things where you just you got to have good pitching. I mean, say what you will about those Braves teams that only won a single World Series through that entire run, but my God, they were always in the playoffs. They won the division, what was it? I don't know, like some teen amount of times. Just amazing. Glavin, Smoltz, Maddox, that whole deal. 
you know, that's how it went. They were always in, in competition there. I mean, honestly, their batting was not the strong point there. Because, I mean, I remember when I was young, I'm like, David Justice, ooh, he's like, he's going to be the young guy. He's going to be the stud of the team. And it just never panned out that way. I mean, you sprinkled the long guys along the way where uh, Ronnie Gantz, I think, was in that mix. And uh, uh, Terry Pendleton, I think, was along. The Otis Nixon. Um, they had, like, decent batters, but the strength of the team was definitely the pitching. Leading off for Cincinnati. Okay, here we go. Ronnie I have not pitched Spearman. on this difficulty in full effort. And it shows. And it shows. First pitch of the season. Freaking single. Not a good start. Not a good start. Not exactly. First career major league hit on the first pitch he sees. Billy Hamilton. Billy Hamilton's batting number two. That's odd. All ones the count. I mean, if I could get a double play out of this one, I'd feel pretty, pretty, ball inside. Pretty good. I mean, I got to get that uh, control. Hey! Which I thought is what I had up and in. Come on. I don't like that idea. Oof. Foul, nothing. Uh oh. My God, and he was looking down. Oh. Oh. Come on, that one kissed. Butter got him. And the thing, like we have, we're in quarantine here. It is, it is April twenty second, twenty twenty. As I sit here, first baseman number nineteen, and Joey Votto, Joey love him. Votto. And it's, it's been interesting. I mean, I'm still doing okay work wise. Ah. So it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working at an essential job. Wow. He's safe. I got no gas on that fastball. That was by design. Someone get that. That's playable now. And for third, no, he ain't going to try. Easy. I'll back yet. Number 17, wasn't that Mark Grace? Batting four. Second baseman, Jorge Espinosa. Nope. Nope. I know. I know. 2-0. Oh. No control here. Oh, that looks looks playable because he's, okay, turn and look at me. Not pretty, but we get out unscathed. Nothing, a walk, and a double play. That's that's smooth. That is smooth. Leading off for Cincinnati, catcher John Ryan so, Murphy. Let's get to it. Hey! But work-wise, I'm still doing okay. I have an essential job. One of my part-time jobs. Still doing radio part-time on the weekends. Oh, two is the count. I guess it's still needed thing, so I'll definitely go along with that. Ooh, cutter down. Cut him down. Batting six. Shortstop. Marwin Gonzalez. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't know. Oh, I off the mark, but see, I would love to have that Maddox like control. Okay, I'm not fast enough to kind of get there. That's that's great. Jesus. Batting seven, right fielder, Tom Diaz. Ball that chop side. Damn. Full shot, but he's playing it. Okay. Now I'm getting all kinds of weird texts. And I thought this was going to be business related. Batting eight. Left fielder. 
Kyle Waldrop. Bunch of text coming through. And even with my business, so let's let's do something about this. Come on, we got him. He's out. That break my leg. A one pitch. Hey, that saves the arm. No strikeouts, but that's okay. We'll work on it. Oh, so wait, a, so wait a minute. Is Maddox gone? Because Maddox would normally put me at the number eight spot. He must have a new skip skip. Leading off with the Reds, Petra, Rysel, Iglesias. Do, do. Hanging up there. Hanging up there, but we got a gold glover out there in right field. That's our guy Hayward. Third baseman, number 16. I can't Ronnie seem to get any luck. I haven't played in a while. Not on this difficulty. Ah! So to say that my pitching is not exactly good, that's that's fairly accurate, to say the least. Got to be hitting that sweet spot, though. Keep getting that perfect timing. Let's fan him right now. He go. He go. Steve-O is in the house. I have some news about Fortnite. The batter oh. number six. Yeah, I had played Center Fortnite, Steve-O. Oh, by Billy the way, Hamilton. welcome in, Steve-O, to the live stream Let's Play of MLB The Show 16. But Fortnite, I have not been, uh, I've been, I hardly yeah. ever played it. I think oh, I totally one, deleted count. it off my PS4. I just, I don't bother playing it. It's just not for me. However, Fallout 76, I'm hoping to get some time to play tomorrow. Ooh, the sweeping curveball strikes him out. Woo! That's all kinds of good. I like that. All right. Leading up now, I want this thing. Oh, what's Edger. he going to throw? Casey Braxton. Four seamer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Power. Full shot. Make him run. Make him run. Make him run. Make me run. Oh, no. Ugh. He said. It's a heck of a shot, too. That was a power swing. The right builder number 22. A leadoff double, fellas. Y'all got to get me in now. Hey, you got to. You got to. 1 0. I'm on the return, man. I don't want to get picked off. I don't want to get caught sleeping out here. Ball. Oh. 2 0. Hayward does have a good eye, though. That's, that's the one thing. Couldn't even take my step. Oh, look at, oh, I thought he dropped it or something. I thought I saw movement. Hey, he's yeah, in there. Something was going in the bullpen. Now batting, third baseman, Chris Ryan. This is odd. This is very odd. A walk his first time going. In June, Fortnite will be shutting down. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't believe that. Oh, there's it. That... Oh, yeah, I was going to say, why did my guy stop? Like, I thought there was a home run. It was easily in the map. The red run, good shot for Chris Bryant. Stand up double. First baseman number 44. I was going to say. Well, we got the lead because I got a lead off double. Advanced by Hayward. Blasted in by uh, off of Chris Bryant. First baseman number 19. Joey. Ball. I'm just wow. I don't know what I'm looking Ball at. Ball one, no one. strike. Shot up the middle, playable. Stella, Got Tommy Lestella, that is. Now batting, second base. What are these conversations Jorge going on? This is just, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Oh, 
Oh, 0-1. I gotta get another text. Right by me, playable. Could you run a little faster there, guy? Yeah. Thank you. Wow, what a throw. I didn't think he was gonna get him. Now as lazily as he was going. Catcher. John Ryan Murphy. Shot going up. Is that playable? Get under it. Get under it. Good. As long as they turn on a face, and again, one pitch, and he gone. Saving the air, but I haven't gotten a strikeout in a little bit here. Whoops. Oh, no, I'm about to get in here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, what am I doing with the season? Wait, what season? Leading out for Cincinnati. Is baseball season? I'll never be done. This will take Marwin forever. Gonzalez. This is only season number four. Get him on know. Scare him a little bit. He's pitching terrible right now. <clears throat> pitching terribly, I say. I say terribly. Hey, come on. Not that cutter. We got to get something else going here. And I keep getting these, like, texts all of a sudden. Ooh, 12 to 6, the old curveball. Dropping oh. on him, and he gone. That's good. The right fielder, number seven, Tom Diaz. Yeah. Uh. Tom Diaz. Tomas, I would believe. Hey! Man, I need more control. I, I see it. I know it. Right on the line. This is odd. Oh, Ball that outside. I mean, it kissed. That was close. I can't be too hot about it, but. Punch. Bryant, there you go. Out. Oh. That's still Rizzo over there on first, but look at him. Now batting, left, -hand. left fielder, Kyle Waldrop. Outside. Hmm. That's ball two. Come on, that was a strike. Two balls, no strike. Uh, He's out. But if that's true about Omaha, oh how many seasons are there? Well, because this is an individual player career, I I want to play this for a long time. If this is the start of season four, I don't know, I want to play 20 years, if I can help it. Casey Braxton. All power again. No, no, man. I mean, I made contact. The last time I did it, well, the last time that I went long with this, it was 12 seasons. My guy was from age 18 to age 30. A hit, but nobody advances. Oh, come on. How do you get a base hit and no one advances? A hit. Leading out for error. Cincinnati. The pitcher, number oh, 26, Rysel Iglesias. Hey. That better be a strike. One and one. So, I mean, if I figure it, if I started at age 18 with this, with this character, with this player, and I go 20 years, age 18, 28, 38. 
make it to age 38, maybe 40, 22 years. I don't know. Up next I don't know. for Cincinnati. I want to make it baseman, like a long, Ronnie long Fearman. run career. I want to get like some all-time records if I could help or just something nice. Hey! 300 wins or whatever many strikeouts. All ones I'd love to win a World Series. I'd love to win a World Series MVP. I got one ball, one strike. Because honestly, like the, the first round that I did this, when the game first came out, I had just gotten back from vacation visiting my family. I got to count one and two. And was that? Uh, March, or, so March or April 2016. Got this game. Oh, there's the time. Got this game and just, yeah, road to the show, what I'm doing as a starting pitcher. The batter number six. And, uh, Billy yeah, it's, I kind of had it in my brain to do age 18 till age 30. But that's 12 seasons. That'll take a lot. That took me roughly, I wouldn't say like a whole year, but, I mean, just by the time the next game was about to come out, it would be the show 17. I pretty much just got done a little bit before that. So I, I sped through it, man. I was playing this a ton in 2016. Man, so I'll be the leadoff man again. We need more runs because we're in the seventh inning. Already. Leading off for the Reds. But First this is one of those weird things Joey for me, Steve-O, where Votto. I, I kind of, this, the stream, it, it sounds selfish, but this is more for me. Because I know not everybody likes baseball and, you know, it's it can be boring to watch. And if you don't like watching the sport, you know, in real life, why would you watch somebody play a video game of it? Well, I understand those, those ideas of it. Now batting, but, second um, baseman, Jorge I Espinosa. like sports. I enjoy sports. And, and to, like, have this all sort of documented. Like, the worst thing for me would be hey. for, for YouTube to, like, completely get wiped out and and just whatever. They go bankrupt and they no, they no longer exist. Because then I'll have, like, no evidence oh. of all the stuff I did. Which is terrible, but... Now batting... Kind of the way it is right now. John Ryan. But just to have it all documented that yes, I played an entire career with this player, with this character. I mean, I did basketball. I did one season. I want to do a full career of this. I want to do a full career of hockey. Um, it's kind of my two favorite sports for the most part. You know, everything else that I've done along the way, all the Grand Theft Autos, well, all the ones that I did. Not that I've done them all, but. Ball that's outside. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy VII here on PS4. Not the new, 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 new shiny one. But... He's out! A sweet little remake, a cleaned up version of the original. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it's Resident time Evil, the, the re re remake. I did, stretch. you know, stuff like that. My my short game, short game summer series. Leading the Shovel Knight, the Axiom Verge, all those Enter. things. Casey... Braxton. That's what I remember. All right, here we go. That's probably not far enough. Ugh. For the warning track. Had to scare him. All right, Damn. Guys, we got to get some runs here. We are the Chicago Cubs. We were a tremendous Leading team last Cincinnati. year. Shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. <laughs> I mean, that's hittable. Oh! Nope, not far enough. He's jogging. Good, thank you. <laughs> I mean, when he hit Your that, I thought it had distance. Fat Matt Adams, list. look at him. Number just a barrel-chested... Oh, this guy's just Adam. a horse. Look at him. That is a big dude. That is a big, scary man to have up there. A one run differential, but if he's gonna ground out like that, out doesn't matter to me. One pitch that saves the arm. Feeling now good yet? I can still throw some stuff. Fielder, Kyle and Jimmy. Now they had two hits. Number three. I think both were in the first James inning. Check me if I'm wrong. Loney. The leadoff man. Aye. And maybe somebody after him, I would imagine. Because the guy stole oh. second. I don't recall. Up the middle, get it. Okay, thank you. That's part one. Part two. Got it. Great defense, guys. Great defense. 
Addison Russell with the muscle. Well, that's what they say when he hits a home run. Let's get some runs here. Why well, one's not enough? It'll win it. Nothing. 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 Come on, fellas. Just bottom of the ninth. There it is. Dude, 71 pitches in the ninth. Like this has been pretty good. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. The pitcher number 52. Tony Strike Cincinnati. one. I don't think I can allow any base runners. And I just think that I would get Count. Oh, pulled for the bullpen. Ball one. Man, good eye. That was not a strike. He just didn't go for it. Ah, get under it. Somebody get under it. Hayward, Hayward, Hayward. Thank you. Now about it. Thanks, that was a good shot. Funny. I thought he had a gap or going. Yeah. Yeah. That's strike two. Come on. Let's get this. Let's get this. Nope. Oh. That's a ball. That could have been called a strike. I'm surprised he didn't swing and miss. That's a ball. Oh, come on, that's a strike. Two ball. Two strike. That's a definite strike. Now oh, that's a strikeout. Can't call that one off. Billy freaking Hamilton. The batter number six. Center fielder, Billy Hamilton. Hey! Now that's a strike, they say, huh? All right. How about this one? That's a strike. How about this one? Oof. One ball, two strikes. I thought count. I was about to hit him. That one got in there. Mm. Had that one dipped down enough? Yeah, see, that wasn't low enough. Was not low enough. Um, as a pitcher, I, I have hit a home. I have hit a home run before. Yes, I have. Not today. Come on, I got this. I got this. I don't want that pitch. To, I don't want this one going here, fella. I don't want it. What is this guy? He wants that down and in. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Cutter gets him. Complete game. Shut out. One to nothing. And that was me, by the way. A leadoff double. Sacrifice fly. I tagged up over to third. And then Chris Bryant with an easy hit to drive me in a stand-up double. RBI for Chris Bryant to win. But again, this is what I don't understand. We have a really good hitting team. But there are certain games in which I'm pitching, nothing happens. That's why I keep it on, like, beginner difficulty when it comes to, to batting. Because I may need to help my own cause at some point. Nine strikeouts in nine innings, that's perfect. He had seven. That's not a bad day for him. Seven innings, seven strikeouts. Hmm. Their top batter was Matt Adams with one at bat. No, he had somebody out there with a hit. He had your leadoff, man. They started the game hot. Player of the game, who better than me? I allowed only two hits. Oof, that's nice. That was pretty good. I, I didn't feel that I was on my game, but neither were they. We're even. Nine innings, nine uh, strikeouts. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Anyway. Oh, I have to sneeze. I feel it. I feel it.
Oh, excuse me. And how many pitches there? 70, 88 pitches. Not bad. Shutout, complete game, quality start, a win. There we go. And now let's save it right away. Save. Road to the show. Here's our file. That's what we're doing right now. Find this file. Come over here. Overwrite. Yes. Saving. Boom. We're back. All right. Whew. So last year we lose opening day to the Dodgers. If it wasn't one to nothing, we might have lost two to one. But it was a one run loss. This year, it's against Cincinnati, but we get the win. Okay. Kashner, the win. Joe Kelly, let's get the sweep. Loss. Brian Mitchell. Dallas Beeler. Loss. All right, so I'm, I'm the split. So we win the first two against Cincinnati. We'll lose that one. So we didn't sweep them, but we won two out of three. Pittsburgh, win, loss. The third game, hoping I can get a win. You Darvish. Okay. In Pittsburgh, we're on the road. Oh, I'm going to save again because, well, you know. <clears throat> Justin Keswick got injured in this game, that old, that old chestnut. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's our uniforms looking like here? Solid blue? Yeah, I'll go with it. Oh, the one with the C and the bear in there? Or, or maybe that's all we got. I kind of like that. It says Cubs. I'll go with that. Woo! Jung Ho Gong, I've struck him out 10 times in 25 at bats. What was that noise? Dun, 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 dun. Emails that I don't need. I'm not even sure what they're about. <clears throat> Threw a shutout in the last start. See what we can do today here in uh, against the Buckos. Pirates, the Buccaneers, I guess. You know, it's another, it's an alternate name to call them. Pittsburgh would be the place that I would want to go to uh, after this run with Chicago, because I don't, I don't think I would stay on the same team forever unless we really had a great lineup <clears throat> and we kept things together so well. Better swig of water for the gamer guys and girls. I like that hat they got going too. The black hat with the multiple yellow rings going. That harkens back to the late 1970s with uh, Willie Stargell. Didn't they beat the Orioles in that World Series? I want to say they did. It's a, it's a throwback look. I wouldn't go with it myself all too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Started up, Darvish. We did nothing. Leading off for the Pirates. Second baseman. Well, I remember MVP Baseball Taylor. 2005. Ball that jumps on. I, I think it was the Pittsburgh Pirates was that long-standing team. Maybe the Royals. One of the two. I don't know. I would always alternate with, like, really hey. bad teams. On MVP one one. Baseball 2003, 4, and 5, I usually took the really bad teams. Hey! Ooh. I tried futzing around with uh, Montreal on 3 Cutter, and we start the game nicely. Get him with the cut fast ball. Batting second. Right. I don't remember if I ever took the Reds. Gregory I know I took the Pirates. The Pirates and the Royals stand out in my brain the most. Oh, clever girl. Got oh, a nice out. throw. Nice. Great defense by Bryant. Batting third. Center fielder. Nice throw. Andrew McCutcheon. Jason Haywood, of course. And Andrew McCutcheon, man, he was almost MVP last year. Look at it, 318, 44 home runs, 114 RBI. The guy, man, he was such a stud. 
And where did he Ball end up last time. season? I think he was on the Giants. And, uh, or no, he went to the Phillies. He was with the Giants, I want to say, and then he went to Philly. And and hurt himself really bad, like an ACL or something. And he's been such a such a great ball player. A lot of love for this guy. A bad pitch, but he wasn't looking for that 12 to 6 curveball to just drop on in and say, hey, it's your Uncle Charlie. How you doing? I don't know why they call the curveball Uncle Charlie. No idea where that comes from, but... Huh, well, look at that. I will be the leadoff man on the comeuppance. Leading off for the Pirates, number six, left fielder, Starling Marte. All the ones Pirates had, some, had a good squad around this time. Aye. Kind of that early to mid 2010s, oh, maybe call it 20 teens. Solid. Nothing nothing fantastic. I mean, there was McCutcheon. I liked Marte. But just not a complete team. Whew. Carter got him. Go away, Marte. Batting fifth. Third baseman. Jung Ho Gong. Now, how his name is Jung Ho Gong when it starts with a K, I don't know. It looks like Kang. I don't know it, but that's how they pronounce it. Got him. And a one pitch out saves my arm. That's great. Six. Catcher. 14 number pitches here in the second. Catcher number 23 doesn't wear gloves. Very Ball reminiscent one. of former Pirates one, catcher no Jason Kendall. He ended up going to Oakland towards the back half of his career. And again, you know, of course I know MVP Baseball 2005 for that Pittsburgh lineup. Who is that guy, Wilson? Justin Wilson, maybe? I don't know, didn't Ball they have two Wilsons? Side. I want to say there was Jack Wilson played shortstop. Tremendous defenseman. Ended up going to Seattle. Oh, solid shot in the gap. Nope, not today, sir. Because Hayward's a stud with the glove. The glove stud. Well, I'm the leadoff, man. Let's see what we can do. Remember, the old stadium used to be Three Rivers. No, no, no. Three Rivers. I'm sorry. What the heck was the old one? Leading off I think it was Three Rivers. Right. Sure. And PC Riverfront was Braxton. Cincinnati, maybe? Hey! Don't you put that stuff up and in, I'll destroy you. I mean, I'll hurt you bad. Mm. Okay, oh, two, okay. Count. just missed. I want it up and in. Up and in, son, come on. Crap. Oh, way under it. That doesn't have the distance, I'm sorry to say. I got that far, honestly. Now back. Nothing. Strike out, strike. My God. Hayward. Boy, my teammates just can't do it. Logan Morrison had some Leading time down here Pirates. with the Marlins. First base Lobo, run. they called him. Logan Morrison. Bad pitch. Glad that was the first one. Ah. Ball inside. Thought he had some time with Tampa as well. Marlins in the Rays, I do believe. Bad pitch. But that's strike two. We're all right. We got this. Ah. Sitting on it, waiting on it. That's an odd. Hey, hey, hey. I got an ideal. It wasn't a good pitch, but his swing was worse. Batting eight, the shortstop, Ruben Tejada. Oh, a bad pitch. 
left that one hanging in a bad spot. Batting ninth. Let's get a double play Catcher. here, huh? You Darvish. He's up. Got him. Really? Double play. Guy nicely done. I didn't think that was happening. I was just trying to hustle over to first base to help. Guarantees, G guarantees, like that. Ah. Nothing doing, of course. Why would we do anything? Leading off the fourth for the Pirates. So even Second with their base hit, number, number 18. 18, the double play eliminates the base hit. So this is back in order. I like it that way. Nope, that's a ball. Oh, come on, that's 50-50 on the line. I had him, I had him. Oh, I was going to eat a while ago. Hey! Because I plan on fasting again. It's already 10-22. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sweeping curveball. Get him out of here. The right fielder, number 25. Gregory, Gregory Polanco, Ball inside. And that Pittsburgh had a had some 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 good role players. McCutcheon was obviously the leader of that team. I mean, he, he was an all-tool player. I I thought he was just a tremendous ball player. But Pittsburgh not really making the spotlight all too the much. And, you know, you're overshadowed Andrew by your football Butt team. And your hockey team. Oh man, what a pull shot! How did he even do that? How the? Whew. Well, he pulled now that back, ball. Six, now we need a double play, right? Right? big time. Starling, Martelli. Well, oh, that's what am I looking? At? What am I trying to do? Strike one. I got to count one That's and two. Strike two. I like it. Hey. Hey. I know that was gonna for that being the third. Like that's kind of a ripoff. I'll take it. Now batting. I got to. Third baseman. But there's been a couple Jumbo. already. Gone. Hey. Should have hit that one, kid. Boy, you had some had some contact to do. Hey. Two. Kiss that outside corner. Like it's the hot girl at the prom. Oh, Uncle Charlie says it's time to go to the bench. Striking out the last two batters after we get in a little bit of a jam with runners on first and second. Toot toot, as they say. Nothing, nothing. Okay, so here I come. Now batting. The pitcher, Come on. Casey Braxton. Oh, yeah. Oh, you son. Perfect pull right to him. I would have loved to see him, like, where that ended Leading up. Leading out for the Pirates. Catcher. Oh, I got the swing chart. Number 23. Hey. Down the line, son. Man. First base right, so number seven. Like seven. The first race is made in the game outside Morrison. the U.S. April 14th, 1969. The more you know. Expos defeated the Cardinals. That's pretty bad. I mean, an expansion team. Well, it's one game. Nope. And it's baseball. Counts A lot of things can happen. Ball. Come on, I'm so close to my mark here. No, that's a gap shot, son. That's a run home. Wow, gee. All right, any day, guys. <clears throat> Thought this was a pitcher's park, huh? Wow. 
I, mean, I think that was all the way from first. Not, Not good. Shortstop, Ruben Tejada. Well, there goes the uh, the shutout. <laughs> Get under it. Nope. If I have my glove held out like that, it's uncatchable. No. Enough of this pull down the third baseline. Come on, game. Programming BS here. I'm telling you. When this game doesn't want you to do well, you won't. You carve Why down low? Ho oh, ho! Now that kind of hurts him. Whoa! Why would you try the bunt? Ball match outside. And he's gone. Three! Why would you even try that? Now batting, second baseman, Ira Taylor. All one's the count. Let's get out of this. No more. Playable. What happened? So he's out. Wait a minute. So I thought there was a third. Did I miss right something? Fielder number 25. Gregory I thought that was playable in short. Schwarber not known for the glove, but already he's kind of shown me. It's a video game. He can do it. He screwed up before. Oh, great center. No, no, gone, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, get me out of here. Yeah, you give up four runs. Odds of winning the game are not good. My God, just carved me open like I'm a Christmas ham. Are we kidding me? I mean, if they didn't pull me yet. Now batting number six, left fielder, Starling Marte. Yeah! And I was hitting a lot of perfect timing pitches along that run, too. Man, man, man. Get somebody, anybody. He's out. Oh, that was a terrible inning. Well, a grand slam will tie it. I'm done. Come on. Nothing. Yep, yeah, well, what happened? We lose four to two. I get the loss. Sixteen strikeouts, guys. Do something. Seven hits allowed. Sixteen strikeouts. Unbelievable. Here now oh, what a final. terrible game that. Was. Well, what a terrible inning. I struck out the fourth inning in order. Boom, boom, boom. Man. Well, maybe not in order. I think there were guys on base there, but still. All the outs were strikeouts. Pfft, terrible, dude. Yeah, poor, poor, poor. Look at all that. Come on. Fifth inning. Poor, 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 great. Poor, 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 good. That's yeah, not going to do it. Well, let's get a save going here. I don't know if we'll have a training session come up, but you never, never know. This is the Casey Braxton Show. That's already 10.30 for me. So we lose that series, one game to their two. It's a 2-2 two two with Minnesota. Win. Win. We get the home pitch command. Stop simulating. What am I going for? Beginner pitching, apply changes. 
Pitch command training. Okay, yeah, let's let's go get our free points here. Not so free, but you know. Well, you know. It's already happened here. What's going on? Whatever. So not the best start for us. All I gotta do here, Mike, is just hit the target, doesn't matter how good or bad. Bam. Let's just get our free training points here. I know control is something I desperately need. Control's gonna solve probably more than break will. I would imagine, which sounds weird to say that. It really does. But, uh, texts are coming in. They're just flying in now. But, well, based on the kind of pitcher I am, you would think a lot of movement would also help for strikeouts and them not being able to hit anything. But if I can put it to a point, woo wee. Just for me personally, I guess, um, having that precision is going to mean more than, than the break on the pitch. Because, I mean, you break too much and you're not accurate, may as well forget it then at that point. Like, oh, he's got a great curveball, yeah, but it doesn't hit for nothing. I'd rather be able to put it to that point that the catcher's calling for kind of manipulate it my own little way where it's and I mean you'll notice how the the arrows like I don't put it to the end arrow I put the, the second arrow in so if there's down in this corner one two three four five of those yellow arrows I don't want the the, the furthest out one to be in the dead center of my target I want the next one in to be at that point and I I don't know why because if that was dead center Imagine how further out that would have been. So from the very out point, yeah, just it, it would definitely play a role. And I know well the difference is is it gonna go higher, lower, further in, further out, up, down, this way, that way, whatever. It all jumps out low. Look at the break on that thing. Nice. Love it. Like, I mean, that's that's almost where it needs to be. That final arrow, I don't think, is incredibly accurate. I mean, I haven't been incredibly accurate either. I, either. I get that. So for anyone wanting to make the argument, that is a valid argument. Okay, I want to go back to the options... You just have any gameplay options. Pitching, veteran. Apply those changes. So we win the two at Minnesota. Hosting Minnesota. A loss. And a win. So three out of four on our splits. And I get to play right home for the St. Louis Cardinals. So let me get my save all set up. Doo doo. Sounds very ESPN, doesn't it? Well, we got our stuff to do. So, 2.57 ERA is not bad. Tied with the Pirates. Ah. It looks like dusk here at Wrigley, huh? Am I seeing that right? Oh, and by the way, won the NL Cy Young last year as well.
Let's get another. Let's get another. And now I run. Whoo, excuse me. Whew. Yeah. The Cardinals. Well, for that opening day shutout, that, uh, that Pittsburgh game really fell apart there in the fifth inning. Leading off tonight for St. Louis. Right fielder, Stephen Piscotti. 0-1. First pitch. Stephen Piscotti loves a lemon biscotti. That's all I've heard. 0-2. Come on. Oh, on perfect timing. Stella. Tommy, Tommy got him. In the second spot tonight, center fielder, Randall Richard. Kind of like oh. a batting stance like that. He's got the one bat resting out. on his shoulder. Like, I was never one to, to toy with my, my batting stance one, so much. One. Like, everybody's a oh, raise your elbow up. And I'm like, what? No, that feels odd to me. That doesn't feel like I have a, a solid swing. Hey! Uh, good old strike there, Earl Hendricks. Is your name Earl? Hmm. Ah. Two balls, two strikes. Down and in. I don't know about this one. Skip. Well. Oh. Perfect timing, but he got to it. I never, like, the cutter needs to be up and right at all times. That's the only way it's going to work. Third. First base for number in on lefties, away to right. There's, nope. there's no other way that should go. One out. Especially for that for that strikeout pitch. Ball. Now that's a strike. I don't know about that, son. I'm going to have to owe me something. Ha! Two balls, no Oh, and strike. I never looked at my training, you know. I mean, I'll probably be forever away. Oh. Double play Got off it. the bounce. Gets us out of that line. All right. So that base hit means nothing. They're back in rotation. Lead off. There you go. Hit there. There you go. Fly out. Fly out. Nothing. Oh, two runs coming in on the on a triple. There you go, Fernandez. All right. All right. Up by a pair. Chris Davis. Um, this is the Leading guy for St. Louis. Brooklyn. The left fielder number five, Chris Davis. Let's get the close up on this guy. Come on. Yeah, there's Chris Davis, the first baseman from Baltimore. Inside ball. And then there's this Chris Davis, K H R I S. I want to say that's. I think that's the spelling. Hey, look at that! A shot down the line. But he ain't getting no double out of it. Not like they usually do. Uh, Batting fifth, third baseman number 13, Matt Carpenter. Oof, bad pitch. I mean, that one should be in the seats. Down and in. Who doesn't want a pitch down and in? Like a golf shot. Well... Okay, then there's that. I'll let him get out of that one. Batting six. Shortstop. Jed Jerko. Uh, Twelver somewhere down around there looks good. What? Nowhere near the mark. Boy, do I need control. Oh, and two. Over the top, my friend. Up and away. All right, well, I'll try it again. Whoa. That's the ball. 
Although I'm surprised he didn't take a hack at that one. Ah. That looked hackable. Carter gets him. Ugh. And I don't know why. Yeah, with all this quarantine stuff, like, the weather was so beautiful. Colton and then here, maybe in the past week, we finally start getting our, our yeah. South Florida rain coming in. And, ugh, allergies have just been hitting. It's like uh, the wind is kind of pushing something around, or I don't even know what. But the rain comes along, and I don't know. All of a sudden, there's the allergies. There's the sneezles. Okay, nothing doing there. Now, you'll notice I'm going for these home run shots. I want that up and in. And I'm going power swing. Is that going? That's up there. It's gone. I mean, I shouldn't be looking to do that too often. I should try to stick to my normal batting. Caught in the cage on that one. Three hundred and fifty-eight feet. Steve-O was asking earlier if he's still in here. Just hit a home run. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't really be looking to do that though. That thing got up in a hurry. And I don't know if the wind played a part of that thing, but it carried long enough and it got caught. And now we're up a field goal. Yeah, I didn't need to hit that one. See, like now Lady I'm kind of thinking where... Catcher, Steven Lim. Like, I, I need to look at this the same way I look at NHL. I'm a defenseman. I don't need to score goals. Oh, boy. I'm a pitcher, I don't need to hit home runs. There may be times when I go for it. That should not have been one of them. Batting ninth. Petra. Because I kind of might have a better idea of where to aim. Especially oh, on the easy difficulty it. here. Look up and in and have your cursor aiming down and away. For whatever reason, on beginner difficulty, yeah. that's that's kind of your, your sweet spot. Minor adjustments need to be made. Got One it. Two. Wait, it's not gone. Sorry. I owe you a cut fastball, everybody. Good thing it was the very next pitch. It still counts. Woo. Now batting. Right fielder. Steven Piscotti. Piscotti. Oh, yeah. Bad pitch, but so long as it's the first one. Well, just remember the first pitch of this year. A rookie's base hit, you know, first hit of the of his career. No balls, two strikes. The first pitch he saw, terrible. Uh, One and two's the count. I mean, that was as good as you can get, honestly. No oh, down chop, but playable. He's going. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Do, 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 do. Waiting on for St. Louis. I'm getting so many Center texts. Fielder. Randall Richard. Business texts, work texts. Text from a girl. The emails have nope, all been ball. crap. Yeah, it's funny. During all this quarantine time right now with the Chinese, you know, and the Chinese bat virus. One and two's the count. It's, uh, well, you know. Oh, way off. Two, two. It's, uh, it's one of those things. Carter got him. Randall Richard swinging out of his shoes. 
first baseman, number 35, Eric Hosmer. And Hosmer, like, what happened to this dude? A key component to those Kansas City Royal teams that made it to the World Series in 15 and then won it in, oh wait, made it in 14, won it in 15. Oh, down the frickin' baseline. Cheap, I say. The left fielder, number five, Chris Davis. Up the middle, get that double play. Boom, yeah. boom, and I'm one yeah. pitch. Thanks again, fellas. That's working. Well, maybe my pitch is in that perfect spot for it, but. So there are three hits, nothing doing. Double a walk. Okay. Now, I want to get a good shot in here, but not a home run. I don't need the home run. Now batting. But I'm always looking up and no worse. Casey Braxton. Because I want to hit power up straight up. How I always used to do. Gap shot. That's perfect. That's that's better. Oh my. Oh. Yep, he tagged him right there. Son. Why didn't the guy from third go? Why didn't the guy from third right, base go? And there's a home run. Wow. Well, so that's up seven. <laughs> and honestly, the Cardinals just not looking good today. So Piscotti, Richard, Hosmer, Davis, Carpenter, Jericho. Well, like you have a good lineup. Just, you're just not on today. It happens. Leading off for the Cardinals, third baseman. And this is another Matt analogy I'm Carpenter. trying to use in life in general. You know, Steve was asking like. Well, how many seasons are there for this? Oh, I'm going to try to get as many as I can. One pitch, by the way. Up next for the Cardinals. For the outs. Um, Shortstop. I'm going to try to get as many as Shirt I can. Up. And if you really think about it, and I was breaking this down the other day, Tom Brady is going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's new sports news, in case you all haven't heard. But think of Tom Brady's career. Like, all this time with New England and, and the greatness and all that stuff. And it's just, okay, now he's going to a new team, whatever. But all these long-standing careers of all these great players. And you need to be great Ball. to stay around in a sport that long, at that level, at that position, right? Now, part of the amazing thing, I mean, he's gone. It, it, you look at those guys. Okay, the late, great Second Kobe Bryant. Uh, we got Tom Brady. Look at Kobe those two guys. Long. Just had the winning, the championships, all that stuff. The longevity. It's such a high level. 1-0. And to be perfectly honest with it, it's... I, I try to correlate kind of my life into that same realm, and but I'm going to baseball for this reference because baseball, they play so many games, and it's, well, it's long, it's drawn out, you know, it's all these things. One you know, ball, two football, strikes. We get to see them once a week. You know, we, sure, we get to see them on Thursdays and on... Two Sundays and, two. and Monday nights, a couple of nights a week. But the individual player, we see them once a week. We get to see them no, 16 that missed. That's times. A ball. You know, pretty Full much. Count. There's preseason, maybe go to the playoffs. Whew, good thing that's foul. But baseball, you can see, you can see somebody so many times. Hey. Cutter on the outside edge, got him nice there. It's not a good pitch either. But with baseball, it's like, okay, a pitcher, whether it's what I'm doing, I have to face so many batters, or if you're a position player, you have three, four, five at-bats a game, a bunch of, you know, defensive plays you got to make and all this stuff. Another home run, jeez. Opening them up. But, uh, whew, excuse me. I'm trying to correlate my life to that, to where not every day you're going to be hitting the home run and doing all that good stuff and just and it's a grind and life is a grind up next straight up catcher casey braxton nope yeah what oh slider is going okay he wants his number one pitch going that's cool Well, 
Well, I know it's going to come in on me. I got to go power shots. I always have to. Ah. Ah, pulled it right into the double play. Oh, that's a foresight anyway, I'll get it. That thing came down and in on me. Leading off for St. Louis. Catcher. Not Steven my best at bat. Lim. I admit. No, that's it. I understand that. Oof. One nice and one. Look at that one. Really high hands on that stance, huh? Chopper. Short. Oh. Get him. Thank you. Up next for the Cardinals, pitcher Jaime Garcia. Your attention, please. Ben Jennings for the pitcher Garcia. Number seven, Rick Ames. Well, where does he aim? Richard Ames. What was the what, what was the name? Ball. That was a strike, I'm telling you. One and one. It's always fun to kind of make one, fun two. of names like that. Gregory fell and he hasn't got up yet. Wait, what? Yeah, Gregory fell from Maryland and he landed in, you know, West Virginia. Yeah. I don't know. Now batting, right fielder. Steven Piscotti. Alright, I'm kind of done talking with this individual because I don't I honestly don't know them business wise. Because we're kind of in a in a in a member group thing together. <laughs> and I think just as I was starting this stream, <laughs> we were introduced. Oh, that's a good jazz yeah, gone. Look at my body language. Hands on the hips. I mean, that's gone, gone. A little bit better than my shot, but there goes the shutout, too, man. Crap. I mean, what do now I keep batting. saying? Center fielder. I want to be Brandon. an innings horse. Richard. I want to be, you know, more strikeouts than innings pitched. But like that little analogy, that, that life analogy for baseball, that you're not always going to hit the home run, you're not always going to have the strikeouts and be perfect. Two some and one days, count. some games, you're going to be, oh, you're just locked in, but things don't go your way. Some days, you don't feel like everything's nope, hitting just in. right, but they do land your way. It's very odd. And then some days, like, you know you got it and ain't nothing going to stop you. Other days, you know something's wrong and nothing can go your way. It, it's the weird sort of, just the dichotomy of life in general. But that's how I've been trying to set myself, you know, the mindset of like, well, your your life should be a business. That's one of the things that they kind of, that a lot of successful people will say. If you run your life as a business, you know, how are you, you know, how'd you do this year compared to the last Leading year, et cetera. Leading off the Cardinals, first baseman number 35. Hey, yeah. Eric yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting in that regard. I figure, what do I got to do for myself, oh. you know, with my business? I mean, I got the part-time jobs, and, like, those are okay. Like I said, those are, you know, I'm... I'm Rack two! I'm sputtering along with those. It's like, eh, once the ball really gets rolling with business, then those honestly can disappear. And it, it's going to happen. It's just, it'll take time, just like an MLB career. You know, if I'm coming in what this thing, got? hey, maybe I didn't have a good rookie season. It's not over yet, business-wise, but we'll see how it goes. Ooh, foul. No, Thank that's you. a foul ball! I do not need them getting those weak hits pushed or pulled down the uh, baseline. Rick! Get him on the cutter, Hosmer. The left fielder, number five. Chris Davis. Seven, oh, what did I do? Here? Six strikeouts, and we're in the set. So if I get another strikeout, we're even. Six and a third with six. Yeehaw! Yeehaw. Not to be confused with hee-haw, the old 
country western kind of redneck nope. hillbilly Bob. variety show. Which I don't know why. Like how I knew about that show is kind of upsetting. Bad pitch, but a worse swing. When he was on for that one too, man. Ball ball. Get it out of here. Mm. No, ball. I was off. Perfect timing. Two and maybe, the count. I don't know, maybe he doesn't go for it. Who's knows? And see, that one I thought would have been a little more locked in. That, that dropped out. Third baseman, number 13, Matt Carpenter. Down the frickin' baseline. Unbelievable and cheap. First pitch strike, but a base hit. The batter, shortstop. Well, 80 Jack pitches. See, they're Jerko. starting to... It's not so bad. I mean, if I'm 10 over, push me towards 100. I know. On a complete game. Pong. Ah. But it falls in there. Uncle Charlie says it's time to sit on the bench. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional 13 hits to their five. Whew. I mean, at five, you would expect you get a run scored. Okay, they keep me in. All right, all right. This guy was throwing a slider. New Up guy. All right. Up. Straight Catcher. up for Seema. Casey Braxton. Drop. Oh, no, that's a, that's a gapper. Feet. He got me. I should have went head first. I should have went head first. I got cocky on that one. That was stupid. Leading off for the card, though. I didn't baseman. think it would be that close. Wrong. One pitch. One out. Oh. That'll work. Up next for the Cardinals, catcher, Stephen Lim. Well, it helps the... You know what I'd rather have is a good on-base percentage. That's in, ball. I don't know exactly how that all translates. That's up there, but playable. He's uh, a little bit of a not bad. One pitch, two pitch. Well, let's go three That's pitches and get this guy a strikeout. Pinch hitting for St. Louis, number 23, Ryan Goins. Oh, not today. This would be good on the next pitch. I don't like it there. No That's balls, exactly why. two strikes. That's exactly why. But, 12 to 6, looks like it's time to take a seat, and I think we're still even up. That's eight innings, eight strikeouts. Russell, God, that's like the fourth home run we've hit today. Well, I hit one. I thought, was it Hayward had one? And that was another. And I thought Fernandez had one. Jeez, fell. All right, 11 to 1. Like, pull up, call off the dogs. No need. Leading off for St. Louis. Right fielder. And 11 to 1, Steven. I mean. Scotty. Oh, yeah, there you go. Let's get a double play here coming up, huh, fellas? That was perfect timing. Come on. The batter, center fielder, Randall Richard. No, well, yeah. that's outside. Ball. I mean, I don't always want to throw the cutter on the first pitch. But sometimes I wonder, like, why something's being dealt with. There's one. That's cool. We can get a double play and get out of this. End the game just like that. I mean, I'd like to have some strikeouts, but whatever. Eric Hosmer. Ball. Control. That's all that is is control right there. That could do it. Nope. Got it. He's out of double play to end the game. Yep, and we have a new skipper. Madden is gone. Oh, well. 
So now I'm the number nine hitter instead of the number eight. I don't know how that's going to translate, but, uh, but that's how that's looking. All right, complete game, though. If we got anything out of those nine strikeouts, nine innings. Okay, so I picked it up along the way. Oops, that's cool. Fernandez at four RBI. Whew. Player of the game, uh, I know quite, I had a good game. Only allowed, only allowed one run. You hit in four RBI. Whew. With the win, not bad, kid. Home run, three hits. Five at bats out of it, nicely done. Good game. Two and one on the year. Struck out the seventh clean. Yeah, I didn't get a strikeout in the ninth, but we still had our so we're I think we're still good on that one. What was that? Uh oh yeah, earned run. That was the solo shot. Two complete games in a season. Quality starting to win. Five hundo on the points. So, um well let me just save right now. We'll we'll get to our next game. We'll we'll approach it. But I usually want to just save up. Immediately after a game, even without, uh, well, you know, that whole mess of, because the rotation, we've seen it go nuts. Anyway, we get the win there. Joe Kelly, win. Brian Mitchell for the sweep. Got it. All right. Uh, Arizona Beeler, loss. Chase Whitley, loss. All right, so Dallas Keuchel, that's a pretty good pitcher. 23 innings, 26 strikeouts. So I'm already ahead of my line there. That's good. We got Arizona, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. San Diego, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1. The closeout game against Pittsburgh at home this time. That'll be our, our next lineup. But So we got Arizona and San Diego on the road. I just like the idea of San Diego. So nice. But a West Coast swing we got going here. I got to save a sweep coming up. Uh, but anyway, um, where am I going here? Wrong thing. Let me get saved up in full. See, we're on stream. Option veteran pitching. All right, that, that's all good. That's all stayed the same. Give it a quick save. Maybe look through some stats and whatnot. I mean, it's very early. But at least want to give a... Uh, I, I usually do that. End of the episode, a brief look at everything. Uh, so starting in the American League East, the Rays own it. A half game over the Red Sox, and the Jays a game over Baltimore. Three games back are the Yankees. And dead last, good pitching. But anyway, Tigers own the Central. White Sox back by a game. Then it's the Twins by two. Indians by three and a half. Royals by five. That team is depleted. Rank 30th. That quickly. In the West, the Angels and Astros are tied. Rangers uh, back by a half. Athletics and Mariners back by two and a half. Wild card don't matter right now. In the NL East, the Phillies own it. Nationals by a half. Mets one and a half. Braves two and a half. Marlins three and a half. Uh, we own the Central. Reds and Pirates back by one. Cardinals at four. Brewers at six. In the West, the Dodgers own it. Diamondbacks by a half game. Padres two and a half. Rockies four. Giants eight and a half back with only three wins on oh, the Brewers three wins I was gonna say that's definitely the lowest but the Giants have no excuse Brewers speed will only win you so many games and I don't think much Woo. anyway that's how that's looking no uh, I mean award we have to look at awards so quick like I don't think it's even gonna do anything I'm not up there I'm not up there Darvish you hate a killer game against us what 16 strikeouts Batter, reliever, rookie. Think you're in gold glove. I ain't gonna be no gold glove. I want the bat, son. Sure enough. Show sure enough. Chase Whitley. There you go. Well, his one home run is his only RBI, so that's kind of cool. Um, All star. This almost doesn't matter either. Quite honestly. So what am I looking at here? Stats. I'm looking at stats. Now wins. Only got the two, so I'm not up there. I do have a loss going. No saves. ERA, well, that was pretty good, right? Yeah. 196, not too shab. Home runs allowed, forget all that nonsense. Shutouts, I got one. Showing. Could have been two. Could have been two right there. Uh, strikeouts, 26. And that's in 23 innings. He's got 37 32. 
the late young stud Jose. Uh, complete games got the two. That's cool. Cranky, this guy. MVP Baseball 2005 with Kansas City. Okay, picture his career. He's 35 years old here in 2019. My God. He's had such a great career, but all those years in Kansas City. Cup of coffee with Milwaukee to try to help them bounce. Uh, goes to the Dodgers, and like everybody loves Kershaw. His name doesn't get mentioned. Goes to Arizona. Now I think he went to the Astros. And it's just uh, such a quiet, great career. Innings pitched. Well, I'm about to have my, my third game, or fourth game finally, so this will bump up. If I get another complete game out of it, be up there real high. Walks allowed zero. And he's done one in 22 innings. So that's like that's legit. Aaron Nola is looking solid. Got the best whip. That's good. Pitching ward number two. Oh, and by the way, Brian Mitchell also up there. Jays. But my zero nine one. Eh. Oh well, whatever. Doesn't totally match up. But I got the second best pitching war. The best whip. I'll I'll probably always have the best whip. And if pitching war, if I have another, like, teammate bothering me here to to try to be one of the guys, like, that's great. I love when I have a teammate, you know, another ace on the mound, tell me along with that stuff. But anyway, there's our calendar lineup. Dallas Keuchel is going to be our matchup against Arizona. That's going to be exciting. But thanks so much to Steve-O and anybody else uh, who was uh, lurking, at least. But Steve-O chipped in and chimed in here live on Twitch. Thanks so much for that. If anybody's watching episodically on YouTube at your very own leisure, I thank each and every one of you as well. A finishing move. Swig of water for the gamer guys and girls out there. And with that, I guess, uh, yeah, that'll do it for me. So, as per usual, MJ signing out for now. Till we meet again, everybody. I don't know when or where that's exactly going to take place. I don't know exactly what uh, what game we'll be playing the next time you and I cross paths. Specifically, it's probably going to be tomorrow playing Fallout 76. In case you're going to be here live or you want to check the timestamps. Whereas this is going to be April 22nd. That'll be April 23rd of 2020. But all I do know is that I will indeed catch you down the road.